Why don't you sit, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This there rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I... I can't kill an animal. Needlessly. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Let's go, girl.
I gotta start robbing more rich people. You're all right, boy. Hold on. I've won that game You're fair blue. and square. Oh my! Let's go. You got this. Who else wants? Some, huh? Who else? Yes. Sure, I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Go. Look at this. Didn't go in that thick skull of yours? You miserable son of a bitch! Easy as that. Hi there. Good to see you back. Good morning, mister. A pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Come on, ladies. Yep. This turtle will put a smile on your man's face. Guarantee. Morning, sir. This will do for me. Welcome to Smithfields. Tried to teach the savages poker one. No brawling this time, all right? What's your poison? Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. What kind of thing you looking for?
That's pretty decent. Right then, you are all set. Thanks, partner. You break the peace here again, gonna end bad for you. Me? No, no. Sorry, you must have me confused. I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. Oh, uh ho. -huh. All the best now. See you soon. Excuse me, partner. Howdy, friend. Thank you. There you are. What can I do for you? Let's have a look in here. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. It's yours now. Good, good. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight... People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Yeah, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Old Crawford, a Carmody death. So long. No need to be carrying that round here. Keep idling. Lots of folks would love a chance to earn some honest cash. I already done a lifetime share. Anyway. I gotta go! Good morning. Ah, come on, boy. Extra, extra. 
Come and get it. There, boy. That's the jackass I told you about. I get your drift. morning. Want to know the latest? Buy one of my papers. <laughs> Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Just passing through, away. that's it. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day.
than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and, and meaning? Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I 
warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. I didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but... Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall.
The last thing we need is more trouble from you. Let's go, boy. Hello, sir. New Hanover Gazette. Are you gonna break in a sweat today? I ain't playing around. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. New Hanover Gazette here. here. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because... I want to buy some medicine, and I, I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just 
My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Please. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? 
Necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. He don't understand you more, and that's. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was. Uh... Just sure. Where you want him? Selling the back. Yeah. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten it. Now, sir, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Okay, boy. Let's go. There's that son of a bitch. How's that horse doing? I got space for you if you need stabling. Horses are friendlier than people. They make the most loyal friends. You treat that well, and you'll have a friend for life. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. Good doing business with you. I'll get that done for you. Okay, I'll switch them out.
Now that's a proper name for a horse. Enjoy. Good deal. Mm-hmm. No harm in carrying some medicine. Hello, mister. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, pa. boy get that back up again right now I, i'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done no 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 get away from it get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is all the best you too friend the way we're doing it, he can do it himself. Damn straight. Thieving, bastard! Hey, stop that! Okay, okay, keep your hair on. You need to grow up. Partner?
I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. This is going in the pot. You'll be able to make something nice with that. That's all I got for you. <clears throat> Thank you, Arthur. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Morning, Arthur. Miss O'Shea. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Yes. Morning to you. Arthur? Like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. I'm very into my craft at the moment, Mr. Morgan. 
I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Good. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. How are things? Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I'll be honest. Life ain't nothing but hard. Hi. Good morning, Arthur. There he is. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Sounds good. So, Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? That... Yeah, all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure. Of course. I never did like her very much. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. This. This is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. <laughs> Remember that. I hear you've been getting into trouble again. Good morning. I never liked Catholics, Mr. Matthews, but uh, maybe they're right. I need to confess. That's a business I know nothing about, Reverend. Come on, boy. 